All right, gentlemen. Thought I'd show you my newest project. You guys have uh, been asking me to do a video on how to perform an inspection. And short of walking you through an inspection while I'm doing it, which usually the environment and or the noise volumes just do not uh, make that possible. So my idea is I'm going to print a scale model of a tower. And right here I have the first couple of components put together. I've got a, a, base, a base plate or mounting ring. I've got a skirt. And then I've got a couple of the pressure vessel components. The top head, a manway in the head, a manway in the shell, and some small diameter nozzles. Anyway, I thought I'd show you this because I, I think if uh, if I print these and put them together, we can have a conversation about how to perform an API 510 inspection, external and internal, using the uh, Mr. Eric method. It's essentially a systematic method to make sure that I'm doing everything without forgetting any of the components. You know, inspecting the anchor bolts and the, the base plate, the foundation, inside the skirt to look at the underside of the bottom head and internal piping that, or external piping that might be attached to the bottom head, looking at the nozzles, looking at the piping attached to the nozzles and how they're loading, looking at the gasket sealing surfaces that are on any of the exposed flanges. That's particularly important when a, a vessel is open for an internal inspection and they've got the manway covers and the piping disconnected where we can have a chance to look at the gasket sealing surfaces. That way if there's any damage or corrosion to them that they can be repaired before it's returned to service. Anyway, thought I'd share this with you see what you guys think of this as an idea. Um, leave a comment and we can have that conversation. Thanks for coming along.